Why are you so uncomfortable? No one is going to throw rotten tomatoes at us. Right, Sydney said. She could be like Claire and not care what anyone thought. She was even starting to dress like Claire. Crisp, sleeveless button-downs, khaki pants, madras shorts, flowy sundresses. What Claire had said that day at the salon, that she had Waverly magic, changed her mindset completely. She felt like a Waverly, but right now it was a little like living in a country where she didn't speak the language yet. She could dress like the natives, and it was nice, but a little lonely. It's okay to be strange. I can get used to this. We're not strange. We are who we are. Hello, Evanel. Evanel had walked up to them and taken a cup of wine. Who I need this, she said, throwing back the wine like a shot. There's so much to do. I need to give something to Bay. She set the cup down and brought a truly gaudy brooch out of her tote bag. Faintly 1950s, the brooch was made of clear but yellowing crystal in a starburst pattern. She's getting her face painted right now, Sydney said. Okay, I'll stop by there. Fred is helping me organize my house. He's been a real help. I found this in an old jewelry box we came across, and when I saw it, I knew I had to give it to Bay. Claire leaned forward in her seat. Fred has been helping you? He's come up with a system for all the stuff I have. He created something called a spreadsheet. I've been offering to help you do that for years, Evanel, Claire said. Sydney turned her to her curiously. Claire seemed hurt. I know, I didn't want to bother you with it, but since Fred is living with me... Living with you, Claire exclaimed. I thought he was just staying with you for a while. Well, we figured he might as well be comfortable while he's there. He's turning the attic into his own little apartment and making some improvements around the house. It's been real handy having him around. You know, if you ever need me, I'm here for you, Claire said. I know, you're a good girl. She put the brooch back in her tote bag. After Bay, I have to take some nails to Reverend McQuail and a mirror to Mary Beth Clancy. Then that will be it, and I'll meet Fred by the fountain. I hate big crowds. Always so much to do. I'll see you later. Bye, Evanel. Call me if you need me. Sydney snorted. Oh, yeah. We're strange. We are not, Claire said, distracted. What do you think of Fred staying with Evanel? I think it's sad that he and James are having problems, Sydney shrugged, but Evanel seems to like having him there. Hmm. A few minutes later, 